Hare Krishna. Uh, just walking around by a lake on our way to Berlin, Ratheatra. And by this lake, I'm thinking about how the fish inside this lake, they have their experience of what life is and what's important. And uh, if you were to tell them that there's actually an existence outside the lake and that potentially it can be much better than what they're experiencing, they wouldn't want to believe it because they are conditioned by their environment. So it happens that we are all born in different environments and in certain environments we pick up certain values and uh, we pick up a certain type of identity and then it becomes hard for us to accept that there could be something more to life than what we have been trained to understand. These are things like, you know, nationalism, tribalism, religionism, genderism, sexism. So many isms are there. Krishna consciousness, when properly examined, is moving us to an identity deeper than just the environment in which I grew up in my ethnicity an environment deeper than the body that I live in, it is taking us into a knowledge of self and self being the essential spiritual being. This person that is looking through these eyes, this person that is feeling through the heart and thinking with the mind, it helps us to redefine where we belong. And it introduces us to another world, the spiritual world, this, the world of consciousness. And it is generally very hard for the spiritualists, the transcendental personalities, to penetrate through the conditioning of us who are so identified with this world. But if one is fortunate to pick up on this higher quality of knowledge, Krishna consciousness knowledge, then one feels very liberated. All the identification with this world is understood to be temporary. It is just a result of a particular birth in a particular part of the world, in a particular family, learning particular languages, eating certain types of food, but it doesn't define me. Uh, it doesn't define me. I have an eternal identity and I want to investigate that. So, like the fish, you know, sooner or later, if some fisherman pulls them out of that lake, then they are really in anxiety. They are really confused and ultimately it leads to death for them. So we may fear also, if I am removed from this identity that is based on this body, based on the geography of where I was born, maybe this means the death of who I am. But no, 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 no. No, no, no. You are an immortal being. You belong in the deathless world. You are a spiritual being. And it's not death, but you are dying to a temporary identity to awaken to your eternal identity. Have a beautiful day, people. We will think about you at Rathayatra and sing and dance for the purification and happiness of all souls. Hare Krishna.